So when graphing, always find the y-intercept first, follow with x-intercepts. Uh, remember that hyperbolas, exponentials, and logarithmic graphs have asymptotes. So this is a set of steps, um, the order of steps that you take when you're drawing your function graph. So first you're going to find your y-intercepts, then your x-intercepts, then you're going to find out if there's any asymptotes, depending on the graph, obviously. Um, then you're going to find your axis of symmetry when graphing parabolas. So if it's a parabola, you're going to use your axes of symmetry here. So negative b over 2a. Have you guys seen this before? I know, Elisa, you have. Yeah. Yeah, Kushi, you have? Yeah. Cool. So that here, this equation here, just gives us the x value where we have an axis of symmetry. So it's directly in between the graph. And then finally, determine the sign in front of the graph, which will determine whether your graph, mostly parabolas, is positive or negative, which is which one of these is concave up and concave down? Elisa, do you want to remind us? Um, the negative is concave down and then the positive is concave up. Perfect. Negative is concave down and positive is concave up. Very good. Um, be careful when graphing to be as accurate as possible. This means ensuring that your parabolas do not curve back like this example here. That's They will mark you down for that. Um, in year 12, they become a little bit more pedantic about the quality of your drawings. So I think in year 11, they might have let you get away with it a little, but in year 12, we've got to make sure to up our game. Yeah, they're going to come for you if you don't have a nice looking graph. Always remember to label your axes, asymptotes, and graph to earn a few marks straight away. So remember, your axes have to have two things. What things do your axes have to have? Your y and x intercepts. Um, good, yeah, that's your graph. But how about when we're labeling our actual axes? So we don't have a graph yet. We're just labeling our axes. So here's your axes. What am I missing? I'm missing two things. Uh, the arrows. Perfect, arrows. And then once I've drawn my arrows, what else am I missing? The X and Y. Good, the X and Y. So that's what I was looking for. We have to make sure that we label our axes and we're drawing our arrows because our axes are continuous. They keep going. Remember that. So you'll usually... For drawing questions, you'll lose a mark if you don't do this. I have. I know I have. So I'm just speaking off of experience. You have to make sure that you label your axes. All good? Yep. Any questions about that? Uh, no. No? All good? Okay, cool.